Hello everybody. So today we are going to talk about correction due to temperature. Okay, so when measuring or laying out distances, the standard temperature of the tape and the temperature of the tape at time of measurement are usually different. A difference in temperature will cause the tape to lengthen or shorten so the measurement taken will not be exactly correct. A correction can be applied to the measured length to obtain the correct length. Okay, so basically, uh, the principle behind the correction due to temperature is uh, the contraction or elongation of the tape based from the temperature. Siyempre, hindi ko na ubra DJ tape sa balit temperature na. Uh, and the standardization of tape is usually at 20 degrees Celsius, di ba? Pero sometimes, no, sobrang init na the, the tape elongates, di ba? Sobrang init na uh, uh, umatid dog, DJ, DJ tape. But uh, if, the, if the temperature is less than the standard temperature, the te the the tape tends to contract, right? So, the, the formula for correction due to temperature is this one, C sub small t. Okay, so C sub small t is equal to alpha, the change in temperature or delta t times the length. Okay, so alpha is what we call the coefficient of thermal expansion. Okay, this is inherent to tapes. Okay. So basically for there are the coefficient of thermal expansion is constant for every type of tape. Okay. For example, a steel has a coefficient of thermal expansion of 0.000116 per degree Celsius. Okay? That's uh, 0 0.000116 meter per degree Celsius. Okay, pero sa ibang materyales, iba naman ang coefficient of thermal expansion. Delta T naman is the change in temperature. This is actually the, the difference in temperature between the time of measurement and the standard temperature. So, ang, ang delta T is computed as T sub M minus T sub S, where T sub M is the uh, temperature during the time of measurement and T sub S is the standard temperature. Okay, so itong delta T can be positive or negative. Siyempre, ito yung mag-determine kung mag-elongate ba o mag-contract yung tape. Okay, so kung positive itong delta T, mag-elongate ano uh, mag yung tape. Pero kapag uh, delta T is negative, mag-contract naman yung tape. And L can be the tape length, isang length lang ng tape, or the measured length, or the full uh, measurement. Okay? So, we are going to illustrate this formula in the following example. So, a steel tape with a coefficient of thermal expansion of 0 0.000116 per degree Celsius is known to be 50 meters long at 20 degrees Celsius. The tape was used to measure a line that is 533.28 meters long when the temperature was 35 degrees Celsius. Determine the following. So for letter A, the, the temperature correction per tape length. For letter B, temperature correction for the measured length. And for letter C, correct length of the measured line. Okay, so for letter A, the formula for the correction due to temperature is applicable for the tape length. Tama? So, we say part A. So, the correction due to temperature, C sub small t, is equal to alpha change in temperature times the length. Okay, we know alpha is one, 0 0.000116 per degree Celsius. So, substitute natin yan, 0 0.000116 per degree Celsius. Okay? And then, delta T is the difference between the measure, uh, the temperature and the measurement and the uh, standard temperature. So, the temperature during the measurement of the line is 35. So, mas mainit, ano? Mas mainit kumpara sa standard 
temperature na 20. So that's 35 minus 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the length, uh, so we are what length to be used dito. Uh, since ang tinatanong is per tape length, we are, use, we are going to use the 50 meters. Okay, kasi per tape length, yung ano lang ito, isang, isang tape lang. Okay, so that's uh, 50 meters. Okay, degree Celsius will be cancelled out. So the correction due to temperature will be in meters. Okay, so meters lang itong natira. So, the yung ano yung display ng calculator natin nandyan sa lower left corner. You can look at that one. It's 0 0.0000116 times. That's 35 minus 20 times 50. Okay, so that's 0 0.0087. 0 0.0087 meters. Part B, temperature correction for the measured line. Okay, so part B. Uh, the the formula is still applicable. Ang magpapalit lang dito is the length of uh, the length L itong L. Kasi for part B, ang tinatanong na dito is the measured line. So, ang gagamitin na natin L is the 533.28 meters. Okay? So, parehas pa din. 0 0.000116 per degree Celsius times 35 minus 20 degree Celsius times uh, dito na magpapalit, ano? 533 0.28 meters long. So, basically, parehas pa din na meters yung unit natin for this one. Okay, so, we have 0 0.0000116 times, that's 15, yeah? 35 minus 20 is 15, times 533.28. 0 0.0928. Okay. 0 0.0928 meters okay so ito itong temperature correction for the whole measured line can be checked uh, we can check this one using yung formula natin for the total correction the total correction since this is for uh, itong c sub t natin this is the total correction ito so ang symbol natin ay C, T, sub T. Okay? C, sub T, sub T. So, the, 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 the total correction due to temperature natin ay equal to, pwede natin gamitin yung C, uh, uh, C, sub T, ML over NL. Ayan, yung formula natin doon sa una noon. Where C is the correction per tape length. Okay? Ito yung correction natin per tape length. So, uh, per tape length, that is 0 0.0087. The measured length is 533.28 meters. And the uh, nominal length is 50 meters. Dapat ito, parehas lang sila dito sa 0 0.0928. Okay? So, let's try to compute. 0 0.0087 multiplied by okay, this is fraction 533.28 divided by 50. Uh, parehas lang. 0 0.0928. And okay, 0 0.0928 meters. Okay? So, whatever na gagamitin ninyo uh, as long as you arrive at the correct answer okay lang yan, parehas lang yan okay, so uh, for part C ang tinatanong na dito sa part C is what is the correct length of the measured line? so meron na tayong total correction na 0 0.0928 meters okay, since ang correction is positive eh, we are measuring diba? we are measuring uh, 
the line measured line so we are going to add the correction okay so we are going to add the correction so see uh, the correct length of the measured line okay. l prime l prime yung ano natin di ba so l prime is equal to uh, L prime ba yung unit uh, symbol natin dito? Sige. L prime is the measured length. That's 533.28 meters plus the correction uh, 0 0.0928 meters. So the corrected length is equal to 533.28 plus 0.0928 is 533.3728 meters. So, ito na ngayon yung correct length natin for this problem.